What's up, family? Professor T is back with some more reacting to some undiscovered music. And today, we're going to check out Next Avenue and their song, Have His Smile. Their bio, real quick. Next Avenue is a band playing and arranging their own pop song, their own songs, my bad. The style is a mix of influences from pop, rock, and funk. I like that. Next to up-tempo songs, the band also plays some rock ballads. However, the main focus lies in creating an own repertoire. The band will perform some covers as well during live shows. Band members and guests, lead vocals Elise Conan, lead guitar and vocals Frey Pullman, keys Chris Schwerweggs, bass Philippe Orts, drums Bart Vanderite, and then uh, the special guests are not on this particular one, so I'm not going to go read all of that part. But that's a little bit of a bio of the band, and uh, they're from Belgium, evidently. So without any further ado, we're going to uh, pop into this song here, Heaven's Smile. I think that you guys will like this one, so let's see what I think about it. There's the intro right there. Les Paul, from the guitar people. If I review guitar stuff, I feel dumb because I don't know anything about guitar. Frank Pullman. Shout out to you guys for having a bio, by the way, too. I love when people actually have a bio. Shout out to that. So this is like almost like an ambient song. This particular piece. I like this. It's very soothing and relaxing, you know. I was gonna say about this too, it reminds me of like some boards of Canada type of stuff. Like boards of Canada left side drive, whatever that song is called. Nice slideshow for the music video too. Everybody just always have to have like a crazy music video to make good music. If the music is good, people will just listen to it in the background, you know. At least I do that. I'm sure a lot of other people do too. I, you, they'll put some music on on YouTube and just listen to it in the background while we're working on other things, you know. That's why I personally take YouTube so seriously as a platform for releasing my own music. I always release things on YouTube. Almost jazzy. This is like um, it's like guitar smooth jazz. So I definitely hear a little smooth jazz influence too. You're playing that guitar. I don't really have a lot to have for commentary on this one. This is just really nice, you know. Get down the production a little bit. I can hear the bass in the background. The bass just makes it a little quiet. And the drums, the guitar definitely is very much forward. I wear my headphones to have the extra bass. So you can see that the Sony's. I wear the extra bass when I do this now because I like this. I have like chill professional headphones and I have like stupid headphones. Like this pair right here that actually broke. I broke this pair. So I, I tried to glue it back together but it did come out. So I gotta come up with something better. But yeah, these right here are the extra bass. I keep foolishness like that around too. I have like 10 pairs of headphones somewhere around probably. So I moved it to my new digs. I by the way have like maybe five or six. I had to throw something in my Now they got the guitars, two different guitar things happening at a time. The guitar menage a trois or something like that, I guess. But 
yeah, this is real smooth though. Like I could legit see people just like putting this on in the car. This is good road trip music, like Boris to Canada. Boris to Canada is like perfect for a road trip. This is too. You just be like this. Just relaxing, you know, that's, that's me when I drive, sometimes I just like relaxing. When I'm at work too, when I have the opportunity, I'm doing computer work, and I can use the headphones or listen to music, I like to just be relaxing. Dancing through the video rather than actually talking. Some pictures of uh, the sky to go to the title of the song. Cause the sand plays in the night sky like shooting stars. That's the whole west right there. guys are good like you guys definitely need to like you know branch out a bit because like this is really good like there's a there's a market for this kind of music right here this is just real chill and then relaxing and um soothing people are definitely want to listen to this Good job, guys. I like that song. That song is real smooth. So I'll be giving you guys some commentary. What I like, I like that that song is super relaxing. It's just real chill. You know, I like the, the combination with the guitars and the bass and, you know, just the drums. Just something simple. It's real laid back. Like I said, so it reminds me of like a lot of different things. I can hear a little bit of like Boris of Canada type vibe in there. Like a very ambient vibe on this song. I hear a little bit of like smooth jazz in here. I definitely, you know, hear about it. I definitely do hear like the bluesy sound from the guitars too. So I, I like all of that. So this is really good song. Um, that's what I like about it. Just really good ambient music. It'll be real nice to just put on while you were driving or just put on in the background, you know, while you're just chilling around the house. This is real good. I love this. So for the critiques, if I were to critique this song, um, the only thing I would critique is the mix. I think that the guitar is a little over the top loud. Like it's, you guys overdid it just a teeny little, weeny little bit with the guitar sound. It's a little too loud. Guitar players won't like to hear that because to them, like, yeah, you can only hear the guitar as it should be. But, <laughs> but I think that, you know, that's the only thing I would change about the song. And I would just make the mix, make the guitar just a little bit quieter so we can hear uh, the other stuff. So now... Now that I'll give you guys what I like to give it the critiques, we're gonna take it to the Professor T Billboard chart. That was a really loud one. <laughs> and we're gonna see how this song made me feel. Yeah, man. So, next avenue, Heaven's Smile. How will the Professor T rank this song? Hmm, looking at the chart. I actually like this song quite a bit. Like it, it definitely moves up farther than some of the songs that I think compared to it sonically. Like I definitely feel like Thirty Three Dogs compares to it sonically. I would say Coasting kind of compares to it with the vibe, where it's kind of real laid back, dreaming. It kind of compares with that. In terms of how much do I like it, I'm moving it up pretty far for me. I actually do like it a little bit more than John Rizzo's Recluse, No Shade, No Disrespect to John. Do I like it a little more than Way Up High? <laughs> I'm moving this one up high because you know what? I don't care. I like this song. I'm moving it up to number 15. So where does that place it? Number 15. It's at the top 20. It might be a little Hey Jinx Hollow. That was one just last week for Women's Appreciation Month. That one was like a 
kind of like a pop song kind of a thing. And it's right above J. A. Wild Trip. Kind of like a more modern rap song for a young man from California. So number 15, that's a good place. As I always say, the Professor T Billboard chart, the placement is not a reflection of the quality of the song. It's a reflection on my preference and how popular I would think to be to recommend to others to listen to later on in the year. So before we close out this video, let me actually just talk about a couple of things. You know, if you made it this far, you probably don't mind listening to me talk and rap to you guys for a minute. So this series has been going pretty well. The only thing is it's been very hit and miss. So because of that, because there's some that like the uh, Kajera reaction or the Maple Mall reaction that actually are getting algorithms and people are seeing them and then the rest of them have zero views, I'm going to take a step back from this for a while. Instead of doing one every single day, I'm just going to do three per week. That's why I made the decision on because it's just something that I don't see it being worth it to devote the time to doing daily videos for this because it's taking away from me being able to do my own music and take it away from me working on other types of videos that I know gets more engagement with this channel like the beat making videos and the tutorials and reviews and things like that so three per week from now on for this until people start watching these like if I figure this out and it people start watching these and you know uh, people are feeling it better that I'll do go back to once per week. But that's the, the uh, update for these videos. So I'm still going to keep them coming. But three per week until further notice. Until we actually start getting a following. And people care about watching these. Other stuff uh, for the channel. Uh, for this channel I'll update you guys on. The beat making of the tutorials. That's the reason why a lot of people came here. And subscribed to this channel. I mean shoot. Go back on the channel. Some of those videos have thousands of views. These I can count the views on one hand sometimes. So it's discouraging. So with that being said, the beat making videos are coming back. I just haven't done one in a while. I've just had writer's block and I just have been bored with making beats. You know, I wanted to do other things, but now I'm getting back into it. So that's going to be returning. And then the other thing too, when it comes to this series, guys, uh, for the artists that come and check in, I appreciate you. I love seeing you guys come and check in and, um, uh, let me know a little bit about yourselves. But please, make sure that you guys are also sharing these videos and you're sharing it with other of your friends who are also making their own music. And uh, definitely, I welcome you guys to recommend things for me to check out down there. The only rules that have less than a thousand views and anything that's too vulgar or too um, generally offensive, because I don't... People can get offended by anything, but things that are generally offensive, topics that you know, uh, you can't get away with talking about. I, I, that's the only stuff that I really won't review. And also, if there's something that I don't like or I think that it's not good enough quality, I won't review that either. You know, I, I don't want to be negative here, so I never review stuff that I know I'm going to give a bad review to. So that's that's really the only rules I have. But you guys can recommend anything, any style, any genre. The only other thing that's a rule too, it, it has to be a complete and finished original song. So I don't review covers and I don't review, you know, like I always joke about just a girl sitting and playing guitar in front of the camera. Like it has to be a complete finished original song for me to review it in this series. So that being said, please do that. Any artists that check in, please, please, please share this with your friends so that they can see it. And also recommend me other people that you know would like to have me cover their music. Because I would like to see this series get as many views as some of my tutorials if they used to. Because how awesome would that be for like, just to have as many as like the sampling tutorials I have. Where it has like 5, 6, I think like one of the sampling tutorials has 10,000 views. How awesome would that be for like somebody that has 32 views on their video to get it seen by 10,000 people. Because I do a cover, uh, I review it and cover it on this series. So please make sure you do that. Help me out with the algorithm. Artists to check in, like it, leave a comment, subscribe if you're interested. Definitely I would appreciate artists subscribing. I'm not forcing anyone to because if you're not going to actually watch it, I prefer you don't. But I think that would be great. Return the favor. You know, the same way that I'm listening to it and sharing this with my personal friends who check in on this series on Facebook and the gram. As well as the few outreach I am getting on some of these. I would love it. Uh... For us to be able to expand upon that is all I'm getting at. So definitely make sure you're sharing this. 
and recommending your friends and also recommending things for me. So that's all the updates I have for you guys with this channel. Um, I, I have go check my other channel for a live stream if you guys want to do that. I did a live stream on um. Well, it, it's it's funny because I'm talking about this in the future, but when you guys see this, it'll be in the past. I'm doing a live stream on um Friday evening. Uh, that's just going to cover what's going on with my other channel where I do my own personal music. So go check that out. I'll put a little thingy with Bob or where is he? I think it's usually up here. Yeah, up here somewhere. So click on that if you go to the other channel. All right, guys. So after all my rambling is finished, for people that are still here and haven't cut off the video already, <laughs> to uh, Next Avenue, and to all of you watching at home, love what you do. I enjoy it, listening to the song, and I hope all of you did too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you. And I will see you on the next review.